Okay, let's talk about Supersonics because you've uh, your son made a very funny tweet. He said my dad at my at 25 was doing Supersonics then. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to do football. <laughs> <laughs> or something of the sort. <laughs> I didn't see it. Uh, I'll, 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 it's, I'll share it even on, on the video okay. right now. Okay. So, how fast can that, what's supersonic? Supersonic is the speed of sound. Mm. So, it means you are going faster than the speed of sound. That's why when it passes, you hear the noise later. Mm. You know, yeah. after it's long gone. By the time you hear the noise, you look, it's, it's long gone. But you cannot sustain it for long because it uh, takes a lot of fuel. So supersonic is used for, for war. Mm. You need to get in and get out of a place very quickly for like 30 seconds or a minute and then you come out of supersonic. Uh -huh. Otherwise the fuel you need will be, you not be able to you sustain. You don't have enough of you, it. You don't have a fuel. And, and what speed is that that we're talking? About how much? 660, can I remember? I'll, I'll, I'll get back okay. to you. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I've Googled it. Google it, people. You can Google, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Google is your good yeah. friend. They, they didn't have internet during their day. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, s and what about the, how is G-Force? Like in that thing, it must be, cr do you have to do some fitness for that or? You know, we wear what they call G-suits because when you pull, like when you're doing those, uh, doing a loop like at Jamhuri Day, mm. the blood drains from your head and you can faint. So we have these G-suits, I'll send you some pictures that yeah. hold you here. When you start uh, pulling the Gs, they, they inflate. Uh -huh. So it fills up with air. I get yeah? it. The air squeezes your stomach and your legs, so uh, stops the blood flowing out. Now the blood is forced to stay where it is. Uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. they're called, you've seen them in military. Yeah, yeah. They wear, that's what they're, they're called G-suits. Without think... it, you will not survive those, um, uh, those maneuvers. Have you ever passed out even as a passenger? No, no. Or you've not no, had? No, no. They, 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 they protect you quite well. Whoa. They protect you quite well. Hey, there's, there's a lot that people don't know that that goes behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah. That's that's pretty interesting yeah. about the G Force. It's like when you go to like the roller coaster, mm, mm, and mm. it goes yep, up. Yep, you, yep, you, yep. you can feel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now imagine that times a hundred. Yeah. And, uh, so they're called G suits. Very handy. Interesting. Did you ever support a country in war, Kenya's allies? Not in my days. Not in your days, huh? No. That's I think this KDF thing has been recent, the last 10 years. Yes, so, yeah, yes, it's yeah. true, it's true. Not in my days. Okay. Mm. But of course you went to do trainings with, next to the Nyanyuki uh, Air Force Base is the British uh, military camp. Yeah, although we have nothing to do with them. They come here to train their own soldiers. We, we have, there's so no, there's been no partnerships? In there, no, no, no. There's, there's no connection at all. Oh, that's... No connection. And you literally share fence. Yeah, we share fence, <laughs> but there's no connection. <laughs> just in case you do. <laughs> they do occasionally train with uh, our army, our Air Force, but there's no, yes. they don't have uh, aircraft or anything, yeah. so they have nothing except to, and I think they bring their own helicopters, they bring their own everything, yeah, so, yeah. so they have nothing to do with the Air Force. Okay. Those days, maybe now they do. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So at any of this, at this period of time, do you then, uh, you said you then decided to, you then left the Air Force in 1985? So let's get to 1985. 1985, I was posted to Isli uh -huh. uh, at the flying training school. Where I was a chief flying instructor. That's why now you are training the, which was one of my happiest days. You are training the brand new people from mm -hmm. straight from college or high school. Yep. So I did three years of that uh, from 85 to 88. Mm -hmm. So uh, that means you're no longer flying. Are you sorry? still flying at that time? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's flying training. You know, okay. the, the, the one I started with, the Bulldog, that's mm -hmm. now as flying that, but as, a, as an instructor. But you're not flying the F5s? No. Okay. No, no, no. I was posted to, to Isli. Uh, the military is that as you get senior, and as you get certain uh, level, now you have to move up to... Okay. Yeah, that's how you end up in the office. Uh, you end up in Defense Staff College. You end up... So there's a, there's a movement that, uh, that happens. Okay. Yeah. So uh, what's, what's, the cadets are the ones who fly the planes? The cadets are the ones now you're trading. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, I mean you're, those you're, the ones you're, you're training? You're instructor for the cadets. Then yeah. the, the who, who, people who fly fast officers, no, no, in the, in the military, what are they called? 
like you guys when the guys who were picked up by the now you are cadets then you come second lieutenant then lieutenant then captain then major colonel all the way up to to general okay so the ones in the um, training school are cadets oh, okay and by then we are captains military captains that, okay. um, teaching them so i did three years of that and how was that how technology Those. improved was there changes what what did you love about that um things had improved a bit it was same aircraft that had flown as initially it was still there uh, of course they had newer ones um, i mean new ones mm. and maybe more more instrumentation um but it was to me that was my happiest days because some of the people you are training can't even ride a bicycle mm. they have been picked from all over kenya uh -huh. through that selection process yep. super smart but you hear this guy is from Wajia, mm. straight A. But when uh, I do a bicycle, he says, no, he, has, he, he never owned a bicycle. But <laughs> give him a maths problem, he'll solve it like a... <laughs> 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 so you're taking him up, uh, can't even drive a car. Yeah. So his first uh, big thing is an aircraft. That's crazy. And you, are, you get so happy when a guy like that makes it, you know. Mm. You go all the way and he finishes and he's a pilot, you just... It's a lot of joy. Yeah. Yeah, because it's straight from the bush to... To the air. To the air. <laughs> and some, some are still at Wilson or mm. now retiring. Mm. Uh, we have a few in um, the Air Force, I mean the airline. Yep. It, it, that, was, that was a very happy time for me. And at this time, is, do, is Kenya Airways there? So are you looking uh, on, the, on the other side? I'm not so when I finished what they call um, medium service commission, which was 10 years, I did 11 because of when you go for a training, I did my instructor training, you are bonded. So I'd, normally it's, uh, you do five years, 10, mm -hmm. uh, which is called medium, short service commission is five, mm -hmm. medium is 10, or after 10 now you have to stay for life until now you, you, you retire or resign. Mm. So I went right on the dot, 10 plus the one year I had for, um, for being bonded. Yes. So I left and um, hopped to the US to do my uh, um, civilian license for a few months, came back. And uh, Kenya Airways was recruiting, that was in 88. Ooh. I love it. <laughs> Late 88. Late 88. Mm -hmm. And at this time, uh, uh, no, no, the, the boy hasn't been born. Your, your firstborn daughter hasn't been born. No, not then. So, 88, come back to Kenya and Kenya Airways are recruiting. Was, Ken, was Kenya Airways in existence before or when did Kenya Airways start? Um, you know, there was a side of East African Airways. East African, yes. East African Airways. Yeah. And then when the community broke up, then it became Kenya Airways. Kenya Airways was in existence then. Oh, okay. Yeah, very much in existence. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So, so what made you decide you want to go uh, into Kenya Airways and not uh, uh, into, into something different? I mean, at that time, that's the biggest place. Um, I really enjoyed flying. Mm. I still enjoy flying. So when I got out and I got my license, I actually got a job at Wilson at, with Air Kenya. Mm. But just before I could start, uh, Kenya always announced their recruitment, so I, Kenya always was to me a better, um, the prospects were better. Mm. In fact, I know what I wanted to ask, sorry I asked that question wrong. Yeah. What I was trying to ask is, at that time, you've talked about, first of all, there's the whole uh, political climate that's happening. It's, that's, that's part of why I asked about it earlier. A lot of Kenyans, America is a one-way ticket. It's, you're not coming back. Mm, mm, so, mm. what made you want to go and study? and come back home to be a pilot rather than look for greener pastures outside? I guess family, because by then, of, of course, um, you know, we were together, Gina moved to Nairobi. When I was posted to Isli, mm. uh, to the flying school, um, that's how she, she, she joined Barclays mm. as the head of PR. So we were here. Sorry, sorry and, about uh, that. I only went to U.S. for a very short, just to do my, my license, it's cheaper. Yeah. I, you could do it here, but it's more, much more expensive. You need to do so many hours 
to get your commercial flying license, which will allow you not fly commercially, mm. not military. Yeah. So Fun was here. My my dad had passed on. My mother was still here. Mm. Gina's mom was still running the hotel in Nanyuki, so I had no no reason to go anywhere. Do you have peers who left and went one way? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We have <coughs> some who, who moved to the US and are still there. Did they think you? What are you doing, man? Move. But uh, um, <laughs> that's theirs. <laughs> we are not in touch, so <laughs> we're not in touch. But we had a few who, uh, over the years, people leave and yeah, you fly somewhere, somewhere different. Yeah. yeah. I just know at that time the political climate. There was a lot of there was a mass exodus from Kenyans. Yes. To various parts of of. Of the, the world, yeah, yeah, especially the US, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you come back, kick, kick, you are recruiting, and you're in. I mean, how's that? 19, what's your first day at kick? Uh, I think it was December 1988. December 1988. Mm -hmm. uh, let's take a break right there. <laughs> we'll come back and have a conversation for that. Okay, okay, cool. Thank you.